Hey guys, Ponce here, and for those of you guys who have been around for a while and seen a bunch of the videos here, you may recall that a long time ago I mentioned um, that my degree is in archaeology. Uh, like, I got that some years ago. It's like what I should actually be doing with my life instead of sitting here playing video games for a living, but uh, that's on hold for the time being. Uh, but yeah, I also, I think I mentioned at some point I would do a video at least about sort of archaeology and my interest in that. So. Uh, I figured I'd start off at least. I'd do one about uh, one of the excavations I was part of some years ago. I believe this one took place in 2009 in Belize. And I'm not going to go over too much over the, uh, the history of the site specifically. I'm just going to showcase some pictures and go over some details briefly. Um, but basically, it was a place called Minanha. It was a, it was a city-state um, that was kind of located between two much larger city-states and their spheres of influence, and you can see, you know, the sphere of influence expanding and contracting of the other city-states, and there's a bunch of stuff with that going on there. It's an interesting place. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to go over the pictures that were taken there. These pictures actually weren't taken by me, most of them, I believe. The ones I took were actually in film, like, printed out, and they're uh, actually in... They're in this room, but they're over there, and I can't really show them because, you know, this webcam sucks. So basically, I stole a bunch of uh, older pictures from people on Facebook that were also on the same dig. And, um, yeah, I took very similar pictures. So we're going to start with some artifacts, and then I'll get into, like, there's a bunch of other pictures that are just kind of not artifact-related. Um, but, uh, yeah, this thing here, that's a bone awl. So that's just, I thought that was kind of neat. This thing is uh, an incensario. It uh, basically, if I recall correctly, it's been a while, but I believe this is like supposed to be a large pot-like thing, and you'd burn incense, and then the smoke would come out of the mouth. So that was one of the more interesting things we found there. Uh, here's a an obsidian blade. It was there weren't uh, actually these were semi-common in in terms of the stuff we found, and but they were it was always kind of exciting to find one of these. So someone would always yell obsidian blade, you know, somewhere from across the dig site. Uh, when you found one. This one, uh, did I find this thing? I think I did. This was a, uh, that's a green stone adze, or a serpentine adze. Little, uh, choppy thing there. Uh, incidentally, I found something looked exactly like this one in the other uh, excavation I was part of in um, the previous year, in, uh, where was that? That was Fiji. But in any case, here's a, uh, a polychrome pottery sherd. It's just sort of the, uh, see, it's got a rim there. Um, polychrome, just a fancy word for uh, a pottery sherd with uh, multiple colors on it. Now, this is just a, a piece of fish I had. I just remember this fish being really, really tasty. So I took a picture of it, or someone took a picture of it. Um, yeah, it was really good. In fact, I think I did take this picture. I'm not sure who the hell else would take something like this. But it was, I believe, the most expensive meal I had there. And actually, this one was purchased in Guatemala, and it was close to... It was 10 Gu Guatemalan dollars, which is not that much, but considering I was buying, you know, gigantic, you know, burritos that were, I don't know, it's probably, probably a 12 foot, not 12 foot long, like a foot long burrito, and they were like a dollar or something in Belize, but in any case, this is um, an instructional guide on how to wipe your ass that was taped in the outhouse we were using on the, um, the where we were staying, uh, it was Joe's handiwork. This is uh, this is an old excavation site, I believe. We didn't. We were just kind of when we were touring the site. Um, I don't even remember what this thing was, but this is already excavated a long time ago. Here's a professor here, Giles. Uh, I do. I to this day I don't actually know how to pronounce your uh, last name. So sorry about that. <laughs> if you happen to be watching this, um, here's me. This is like I believe this is everyone that was part of the excavation team. Uh, I always have a beer in my hand because I'm an alcoholic. Uh, this is me actually working for once and digging. See, I, I don't have a beer here. This is me you know, excavating some stuff, probably ruining something. This is where we had lunch, underneath this tarp. And uh, there weren't too many mosquitoes here, but if you went back into the jungle back there, you would get bitten about a thousand times in the span of about two seconds. So we kind of stayed here. Um, here is me working very hard supervising other people while they <laughs> fill things out. <laughs> No, I'm sure I was actually filling something out at the time. This looks like artifact cataloging. Um, you, basically, every time you find something, you got to catalog stuff pretty meticulously. It's a lot of paperwork. Um, this is kind of like the tent city thing we stayed at. Uh, where we were staying was basically sort of a pseudo farm, I guess. And it wasn't really a farm, but um, uh, there's a guy. I don't think there's any pictures of him in here, but the guy called Joe, sort of a uh, scruffy jungle man type guy. He owned uh, yeah the pseudo farm thing, and people tended to stay there. And it's basically a clearing right in the middle of the jungle. Like, this is literally off in the middle of nowhere. 
um, and there's howler monkeys and shit, and it's really noisy at night. But yeah, we all kind of lived in tents there for, I believe, nine weeks. And this is just me staring at whoever the hell is taking a picture of me for some reason. This is actually the, pic the picture in question um, for the YouTube. Uh, people have asked me, where does my YouTube picture come from? Well, it's me clipping myself out of this thing here. So again, I'm drinking a beer, standing on top of a tractor. Um, for some reason, wearing that hat. I think I just I saw this guy wearing a hat and said, hey, I'll get my hat too. But there you have it. That answers that question. Uh, this is me wandering around in the jungle. I spent most of the uh, the trip without a shirt on because it was really hot. And consequently, I got bit on... Was it this arm? No, it was, it was my left arm over here by something which injected... Uh, what are they called? Bot flies into my arm. So I had bot... I was incubating bot fly larvae in my... Uh, my left shoulder, which were eventually extracted by crushing them out and like suffocating with some sort of horse medicine. I wish I could have actually kept them in here because apparently, uh, if you keep a bot fly in your arm and then you let doctors take them out, because you're not allowed to like legally, you're not allowed to bring those into the country. But if you happen to have bot flies in you when you're entering the country and you let doctors take it out, they're worth like 400 bucks or something because they like to experiment on this shit and they can't normally get it. That's what I've heard anyway. So it's too bad I had to actually take that out because it was far enough away from the date where I was leaving. I think I still had two weeks that uh, if I'd left them in there, they would have exploded out of my arm and basically turned into flies and flown away. Uh, and that would have just been pointless and probably led to some kind of infection, I'd imagine. Uh, oh, this is, the, uh, this is the excavation unit I was working on, I think. Uh, it's been a while. I don't really remember. It, it looks like it. And this is before we did too much of the... Like, we cl cleared away topsoil and all this, this rocks and shit like that. And uh, we're, we're starting it. And then there's, there's a series of pictures that it shows, like, as we start to clear down. This was ended up being some kind of structure. I don't remember too specifically what was going on here. It's been some years. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's sort of a stepped structure that we're um, eventually exposing. And... Uh, this is it, a bit more clearing away. So as you see, we strip down the dirt and start extracting artifacts, but the um, the large rocks remain in place like this. And we're... Oh, here's Joe right here. And so we, we here's me clearing stuff away. Other person, student, clearing stuff away. There's Joe again. Um, so more clearing away. And so as you can see, it's slowly getting... And then we start removing the rocks um, as we're done, because this will never be excavated again once we've excavated. Like this part has been marked down as we've you know cleared everything out. And uh, so, yeah, there we go. And this is what it looked like basically at the end, I think. And then we backfilled everything with dirt. So it was all just kind of level again. Uh, another picture of Tent City. And uh, this thing was a theodolite. You know, we were measuring elevation and stuff. Um, this thing we actually were measuring elevation with way back in, like, the jungle area back there where it was just completely overgrown. And that's when you had to go in there and you get bit. You can't move because you have to keep this thing completely steady or it messes up the the figures. And uh, any of you guys who work in, like, not construction, but, like, road maintenance and, you know, stuff like that, you've probably used this stuff before, I think. And so, yeah, you can't move at all, but the instant you go in the jungle, you get swarmed by mosquitoes. Like, I literally mean swarmed by mosquitoes. You see clouds of the stuff enveloping you. And uh, you can't move at all to swat them away because you'll screw up the results. So you just get bitten and bitten and bitten. And um, the one way to keep them away was to smoke toxic Belizean, well, cigarettes is Obviously, they're toxic because they're cigarettes. They're, yeah, cigarettes. But Belizean cigarettes seemed even worse than I recall cigarettes being. There's like no filter and they're just dirt cheap. And so you're smoking this Belizean cigar or cigarette to try and keep mosquitoes away. And it sort of works because they don't like cigarette smoke. Um, perhaps they're smarter than we are. But, uh, and it keeps some of them away. And this is actually the tractor we'd ride to the dig site every day. It took about, I think, 30 minutes each way. And so we'd ride on the back of this thing. See that trailer, like, uh, thing that's sort of attached to it back there? We'd sit on the back of that. It's a pretty bumpy ride because it's got no, like, shock absorption or anything. <laughs> We're going up and down on these bumpy, you know, mountain dirt road things. So, yeah, there you have it. Those are all the pictures. Um, like I said, I don't know. I'd like to get back in archaeology one day. I had a hell of a lot of fun on this trip. I don't know if it really comes through in these pictures or not. But uh, that's my holiday slideshow thing that I'm going to bore you guys with today. Um, I hope...
it's this is not an issue showing like dig site pictures. If I could recall correctly, it's not, and that's why people put this stuff on fi uh, Facebook pictures. I recall this being a discussion topic some years ago when I was still in school. I think the only thing that's sort of taboo is showing human remain pictures, which incidentally there are none or very few of from this trip. We found like human remains on the very last day, and then like the professor and his um, and the TA type guys instructors they went back and dug the uh, the human remains up on the last day i dealt with a lot of human remains on my belize trip um so I, but i won't be posting pictures of that uh but uh yeah i don't know someone's getting pissed off about this from me from trent university i'll take the video down <laughs> but uh, i don't think it's an issue i'm pretty sure it's not in any case yeah i'm gonna go stream for a little bit so after my uh, little slideshow if you want to come check out my uh, live stream we're gonna follow it up with league of legends that's that's, that's very appropriate um we're, i'm not gonna play Ezreal. at least there's that uh click on the uh the description below i'll be live streaming if it's immediately me after me uploading this thing so uh yeah i'm gonna start rambling um i'll see you guys around thanks for watching